An Empty Statement in the Face of Crisis, an editorial by Professor Wall Street, Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley's recent statement on the tragic shooting of a five-year-old child in Trinidad and Tobago is a stark reminder of the escalating violence plaguing the nation. While his words express shock and anger, they fall short of providing concrete solutions to the deep-rooted issues of crime and violence. Here are 10 reasons why the statement does little to address the real problems facing the people of Trinidad and Tobago. One, lack of specific action plans. The statement is filled with generalities about pursuing perpetrators and serving justice, but lack detailed strategies or policies to combat crime effectively. Two, no address of root causes. There is no mention of addressing the underlying causes of crime, such as poverty, unemployment, and lack of education, which are critical to long-term solutions. Three, absence of community engagement. Effective crime prevention requires community involvement and trust building between law enforcement and citizens. The statement does not outline any initiatives to foster such engagement. Four, failure to address police corruption. Corruption within the police force is a significant issue that undermines efforts to combat crime. The statement does not acknowledge this problem or propose measures to tackle it. Five, insufficient focus on youth programs. Young people are often both victims and perpetrators of crime. There is no mention of expanding youth programs or providing alternatives to gang involvement. Six, neglect of mental health services. Mental health issues can contribute to violent behavior. The statement does not address the need for improved mental health services and support systems. Seven, lack of transparency and accountability. The government must be transparent about its efforts and hold itself accountable for results. The statement lacks any commitment to regular reporting or public accountability. Eight, overemphasis on punitive measures. While pursuing justice is important, an over-reliance on punitive measures without preventive strategies is ineffective. The statement focuses heavily on punishment rather than prevention. Nine, no mention of gun control. The proliferation of firearms is a major factor in violent crime. The statement does not address the need for stricter gun control laws and enforcement. Ten. Empty promises. Similar statements have been made in the past with little to no follow through. The public has grown weary of empty promises that do not translate into real change. In conclusion, while Prime Minister Rowley's statement may resonate emotionally, it lacks the substance and specificity needed to reassure the public and bring about meaningful change. After almost a decade in office, the people of Trinidad and Tobago deserve a comprehensive and actionable plan to address the crime crisis, not just words of condemnation 